Hi everybody, I'm Dr. John LaPook. I'm the medical correspondent for the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric, and I'm here with Dr. Woody Merrill, my dear friend, uh, who is the head of integrative medicine at Beth Israel Medical Center in New York City. And he is here because he has written a book called The Source. I have to say, in full disclosure, he is my dear friend and my guru in integrative medicine. He taught me everything I know about that, so he got me interested in it many years ago. And he's written a book called The Source. And what is The Source about? The Source is about creating energy. So many of us are depleted of our energy. It's about going from an energy consumer to being an energy creator, to having abundant energy, and from that flows health. Okay, so energy. We are all, all interested in that probably the most underrated problem in America is chronic sleep deprivation, fatigue. People come in complaining about that all the time. But people want specifics, right, about how they can actually get more energy. So we know, find the obvious, get more sleep. Beyond that, what are the not obvious things? I think one of the most uh, common problems, the most common problem that I see is, is stress. I think the debilitating effect of stress is huge. And there's some very simple things people could do to reduce stress during the daytime. Just one of the things I love to have people do, just focus on your breath in a very stressful day. Just take a three or four slow, deep breaths and let yourself relax. You really begin to feel your nervous system calming down because it's that constant chatter that's occurring all day long. It takes a tremendous amount of energy. But you have to realize that you're stressed, and I think that's one of the problems. Yes. People are going, yes. they're going, they're going today, and at the end of the day, they're like this, but they don't, and they, oh yeah, I should have been breathing, but you forget to breathe. How do people remind themselves? Like an alarm clock? You do, that's why, that's why going to the breath is great. Most people think that they start every day with a clean sleep, but actually every day you begin with all the stress you've ever had and you add to it. So the key is we'll wake up recognizing that you're gonna be facing stress during right. the day. But it's hard, it's hard to remember to take those, Yes, it is. Breathing's important, then yes, we, 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 love, we love to breathe. Okay, so that's one thing. What's another thing? Tell me, you know, caffeine, very yeah. interesting. I, there's some things I didn't know. People love to live on stimulants these days, and given the fact that the majority of the population at any one time is fatigued, particularly coffee, there's 240 million pounds of coffee beans consumed a year, and four billion dollars of energy drinks, and the key to these is That's often, just the United States? That's just the United okay. States, it's huge. And the key to a that is beans. the fact that people rely a lot on caffeine and sugar. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it creates a yo-yo effect. So what I try to get people to do is reduce so the So you're caffeine. down, you're tired, you get the cup of coffee, you go up, yep. but then you go back down again. That's and right. You, and you need more coffee, you go up, and you go down. Same and, thing with sugar. And you think what you need is coffee. What you really need is water. You need fluids. You're getting dehydrated all day long. Uh -huh. So I tell people just have a cup of eight ounce glass so of water. So like a wilted flower and then a little bit yes. of water and you perk up. Absolutely. But something else, which I think people may not realize, you have a cup of coffee, you have a couple of lattes in the morning, and how long does it last? The half-life of caffeine is anywhere from three to six hours. So if you're a slow metabolizer, you could drink a double latte in the morning and at midnight you could still have half a cup of coffee in your system. No wonder people have difficulty sleeping. That's a really interesting point. So just because you know, you've stopped having coffee at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. doesn't mean that it's not hanging around and causing you problems later. And people take a lot of caffeine in other forms they can get all jacked up and jittery, right? If you just drink water during the day, you make sure you eat regularly and switch from these refined carbohydrates and have some whole grains and protein that'll sustain your energy level instead of constantly going up and down. And you've got specific diets in here. Yeah. We won't go over, there's diets. not time to, uh, to really go over all the specifics of this. It's all in here in the source. There are specific diets at the end. There's a lot of good advice in here. And it's written on a level that's very, very easy to understand. There's not a lot of scientific gobbledygook and jargon. <laughs> you can actually understand because that's the way he is in real life. And I, I, we do share patients, and they all say the same thing, which is that he has this amazing bedside manner and ability to communicate. And I think he does, uh, uh, he does use that ability to communicate in the book. It shows that it's written at a level that people really can understand. So where can Thank they find you. the source now that they're dying? You're dying <laughs> to get it, right? Yeah, you gotta get the source. Where, where do they get it? You'll love it. Amazon.com, or you can get it at Barnes & Noble, Borders, and your independent local bookstore, too. Dr. Yep. Woody Merrill, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks a lot. My dear friend, and uh, see you next time.